a blessed, beautiful morning, beautiful day. Great for God, family. It's truly a blessing to be able to have life today. Um, you know, I just, when I wake up over the last couple of weeks, man, I've just seen so many young individuals passing away in their lives. You know, people under 25, people not even 30 yet. And, um, you know, I just truly open my eyes and just really give so much more appreciation for life, man. And thank you, Father God, for life today. I love you and I appreciate you. I appreciate you for continuing to give life to the world, to the individuals who are waking up today. Um, thank you for the lives that are no longer here anymore as well, Father God, because they had an opportunity to be able to live, and their time was their time. And, you know, it's it's, it's, it's sad when people encounter death, but, you know, it's, it's natural in our life. And one day it's, it's coming for all of us, but... Today, Father God, you gave me breath. Whoever listened to this, you gave them breath today in their body. And I just thank you, Father God, for life, man. Truly, truly, truly. Thank you, Lord, for today. Amen. Welcome in to Wellness Wednesday, though. Grateful God, family, man. As you know, always, we have to get, be able to give God glory for life today. Um, daily verse for the day of August 23rd, 2023, derived from the book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 6. And it states as follows. But the angel said, don't be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead. Look, this is where they laid his body. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for raising. Thank you, God, for bringing Jesus to the earth to live, to be born and die for our sins, Father God. And he has risen to be able to, to walk on this earth, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father God. Thank you. Amen. And again, it's from the book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 6. And it's morning for Wellness Wednesday, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I want to be able to touch on a topic that might be touchy to some people. Um, and that's going to be um, weight loss, ways to lose weight naturally. And this information is backed by science. You can get this information from healthline.com. Again, healthline.com is where I'm getting this information from. And I'm about to get directly into it. Eating fuel processed foods, drinking more green tea, and taking probiotics are just a few of the natural methods that can promote weight loss. Establishing an exercise or a sleep routine can help also. 1. Add protein to your diet. When it comes to weight loss, protein is the king of nutrients. Your body burns calories when digesting and metabolizing the protein you eat. So a high protein diet can boost metabolism up to 80 to 100 calories per, per day. Prioritize whole single ingredient foods. One of the best things you can do to become healthier is to base your diet on whole single in ingredients. By doing this, you eliminate the vast majority of added sugar, added fat and processed food. Most food, most whole foods are naturally very filling making it a lot easier to keep within typical calorie limits. And make sure you know your calorie limits as well as a man, or as a grown male and a grown female. Three, limit processed foods. Processed foods are usually high in added sugar, added fats and calories. What's more, processed foods are engineered to make you eat as much as possible. They're much more likely to cause addictive light eating than unprocessed foods. Stock up on nutritious foods and snacks. Studies have shown that food you keep at home greatly affects weight and eating behavior. By always having nutrient-dense food available, you reduce the chances of you or the other family members eating less nutritious items. Limit your intake of added sugar. Eating a lot of added sugar is linked with some of the world's leading diseases, including heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and cancer. On average, Americans eat about 15 teaspoons of added sugar each day. This amount is usually hidden in various processed foods, so you may be consuming a lot of sugar without even realizing it. Drink water. There is actually truth to the claim that drinking water can help with weight loss. Drinking a half a liter of water may increase the calories you burn by 24 to 30% for an hour afterwards. 
Drinking water before meals may also lead to reduced calorie intake, especially for middle-aged and more elderly people. Water is particularly helpful for weight loss when it replaces other beverages that are high in calories and sugar. Drink unsweetened coffee. Coffee is loaded with antioxidants and other beneficial compounds. Coffee drinking may support weight loss by increasing energy levels and the amount of calories you burn. Caffeinated coffee may boost your metabolism by 3 to 11 percent and reduce your risk of developing type 2 diabetes by a whopping 23 to 50 percent. Furthermore, black coffee is very weight loss friendly since it can make you feel full but contains almost no calories. Limit liquid calories. Liquid calories come from beverages like sugary soft drinks, fruit juices, chocolate milk, and energy drinks. These drinks can have a negative impact on your health in several ways, including an increased risk of obesity. One study showed a drastic 60% increase in the risk of obesity among children for each daily serving of a sugared sweetened beverage. It's also important to note that your brain does not register liquid calories the same way it does solid calories. So you end up adding these calories on top of everything else that you eat. Limit your intake of refined carbs. And again, we can find this information on healthline.com. So make sure y'all check out, check out the article. It's a good read. Limit your intake of refined carbs. Refined carbs are the Excuse me. Refined carbs are carbs that have had most of their beneficial nutrients and fiber removed. The refining process leaves nothing but easily digested carbs, which can increase the risk of overeating and disease. The main dietary sources of refined carbs are white flour, white bread, white rice, sodas, pastries, snacks, sweets, pastas, breakfast cereals, and added sugar. Fast intermittently. Intermittent fasting is an eating pattern that cycles between periods of fasting and eating. There are a few different ways to do intermittent fasting, including the 5 to 2 diet, the 16 to 8, the 16 to 8 method, and the eat stop eat method. Generally, these methods make you eat fewer calories overall without having to cook Cons oh, excuse me. To, without having to consciously restrict calories during the eating the eating periods, excuse me. This should lead to weight loss as well as numerous other health benefits. Drink unsweetened green tea. Green tea is a natural beverage that's loaded with antioxidants. Drinking green tea is linked with many benefits such as increased fat burning and weight loss. Green tea may increase energy expenditure by 4% and increase selective fat burning by up to 17%, especially harmful belly fat. Macha, macha tea is a variety of powdered green tea that may have even more powerful health benefits than regular green tea. Eat more fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are extremely nutritious weight loss friendly foods in addition to being high in water nutrients and fiber they usually have very low energy density this makes it possible to eat large servings without consuming excess calories numerous studies have shown that people who eat more fruits and vegetables tend to weigh less count calories once in a while being aware of what you're eating is very helpful when trying to lose weight. There are several effective ways to do this, including counting calories, keeping a food diary, or taking pictures of what you eat. Using an app or other electronic tools may be even more beneficial than writing in a food diary. Use smaller plates. Some studies have shown that using smaller plates help you eat less because it changes how you see portion sizes. Using smaller plates reduce how much food you eat while giving you the perception of having eaten more. Eat more slowly. 
If you eat too fast, you may eat more calories than your body needs before your body even realizes that you're full. Fast eaters are much more likely to develop obesity compared to those who eat more slowly. Chewing more slowly may help you eat fewer calories and increase the production of hormones that are linked to weight loss. Spice up your meals. Chili peppers and jalapenos contain a compound called caps, capsaicin, capsaicin, which may boost metabolism and increase the burning of fat. Capsaicin, I guess capsaicin, may also reduce appetite and calorie intake. And again, I always encourage individuals to come look at information for themselves because some words that I'm saying might not I might not be pronouncing them correct and you all might know what I'm saying but again come get this information for yourself healthline.com again healthline.com and the title of the article is 29 ways to lose weight naturally backed by science so make sure y'all come check them out take probiotics probiotics are live bacteria that have health benefits when eating they can improve digestive health and heart health and may even help with weight loss Get enough sleep. Getting enough sleep is incredibly important for weight loss as well as to prevent future weight gain. Studies have shown that sleep deprived people are up to 55% more likely to develop obesity compared to those who get enough sleep. This number is even higher for children. Make sure y'all kids getting sleep on time. Make sure they're getting eight hours. Uh, make sure you, you're giving your kids waters, not just juices. You know, I can't tell you how to parent, but you know, our children's health is definitely important. We want to be able to grow and live long lives, but and that starts with how we treat them as, as youth. And um, even myself, I, my wife, we have to be able to do better, even though I think we do, you know, pretty good right now, but we have to be able to do better and how um, and how the nutrients we give them, um, we give them vitamins, we make sure they drink water, um, keep them active, you know, that type of stuff. Definitely try to keep them on sleep schedules. These things are important. Um, just for their growth, one in general, but as they grow, we want, to be, we want them to be able to grow healthy. So make sure you take your, your kids' health series as well. Eat more fiber. Fiber-rich foods may help with weight loss. Foods that contain water-soluble fiber may be especially helpful since this type of fiber can help increase the feeling of fullness. Fiber may delay stomach emptying, make the stomach expand, and promote the release of of satiety hormones. This can help you eat less without having to think about it. Brush your teeth at the meals. Many people brush or floss their teeth or use mouthwash after eating. Dental hygiene products can temporarily affect the taste of food and beverages, which may help limit the desire to snack or eat between meals. Work to overcome food addiction. Food addiction involves overpowering cravings and changes in your brain chemistry that makes it harder to resist eating certain foods. This is a major cause of overeating for many people and affects a significant percentage of the population. In fact, a study from 2014 found that almost 20% of people fulfilled the criteria for food addiction. Do some sort of cardio. Doing cardio, whether it's jogging, running, cycling, power walking, or hiking, is a great way to burn calories and improve both mental and physical health. Cardio seems, partic- excuse me, cardio seems to be particularly effective at reducing the fat that builds up around your organs and causes metabolic, uh, metabolic, di- excuse me, and, and causes metabolic disease. So again, um, and last but not least, focus on changing your lifestyle. Dieting is one of those things that almost always fails in the long term. In fact, people who diet tend to gain more weight over time. Instead of focusing only on losing weight, make it a primary goal to nourish your body with nutritious foods and daily movement. That's right. Amen. And again, I got this information from Healthline.com, ladies and gentlemen, Healthline.com. Make sure y'all check it out. Make sure y'all tune in tomorrow for the Great Forget Sports Huddle. 
Um, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe on all major podcast platforms, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify. Make sure y'all tune in um, on my YouTube channels. I have different videos uploaded there. Make sure y'all go subscribe. Check me out on Twitter as well at grateful underscore gap. Check me out on Instagram at grateful gap podcast. Um, send me some emails. Um, any information about interviews or doing any great deeds in the world. I would love to know about it and um, get that information here on my platform. But again, um, make sure y'all tune in. Make sure y'all give God glory for today. Um, thank you, Father God, for today. I pray and ask that today is the best day because of today, Father God. Thank you for everything, doing everything you've done. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Great for God, family. Y'all be blessed out there. Y'all be safe, safe travels to work, from work to wherever you're going, man. Just y'all be safe, you know, control what you can control, and um, give God glory. So, again, thank you, Father God. I love you. I love y'all, man. Y'all be blessed. Until next time, peace.